my room, a good student is someone who is willing to make mistakes and also celebrate them and use them to grow farther. You know, we don't like the I can't Ooh. word. That's something we don't, we don't use. If they fail or if they don't get what they wanted out of the, uh, the grade or the outcome of their activity, they persevere, they push forward, and they learn from it. I think it all comes down to being very flexible um, and willing, a willingness to learn and ask questions and be engaged. And not every student comes in like that, but the goal in the end is that they leave your classroom understanding that adaptability is the way that they can achieve success in their academic and in their life. A good teacher would be supporting, caring, and funny. They have enthusiasm about what they're doing and they're kind and they know how to uh, treat other students in that stage of their life because we all go through those. What makes a good teacher in my opinion is just a teacher who cares about you and the other students because I mean of the care it makes learning just much more fun and better. A good teacher should be relatable because if you go to school and you see them just as a teacher figure you won't have like an enjoyable experience because I know with Miss Wells I get along with her so well and that's what makes school enjoyable for me. They can relate to the students and just not be like you have to do this my way or no way uh, and they have to be trusting because some kids need trust from from anybody really uh, and they have to be kind because that's just something you do. <laughs> making relationships with my students and sometimes there are people in my classes who we don't necessarily have anything in common like with our interest our interests or our background or our cultures maybe there just aren't a lot of shared experiences getting to know each kid individually as who they are as a person not just a student helps to understand them and what's going to really work for them and what will not work for them in their learning um, my first step is to just start asking them random questions like what did you eat for dinner last night or you know what's your favorite color and then you slowly work your way up until you find out actual details about their life. Not every student is in there academically or not every student has a dislike or like academically. You get to know what they like whether that's art or music or sports or whatever interests them reading. Um, I think once you find out kind of what they like or don't like then you can build a little bit of a better connection with them and go from there. I still remember what it's like to be a kid in middle school, uh, high school. Those are the things I, you know, I still think about. It makes it easier, so if I have a problem, I can easily go approach them about it instead of keep to myself. The connections are really important, especially during school, because when you need help, you have to reach out. And Ms. Wells has helped me a bunch. So build the personal relationships, and then they seem to be more motivated. Yeah, Thank you, Anna. <laughs> and uh, getting connected with what they, they enjoy and, and talking to them. Theo, he's a, he's a good supportive guy. He, you know, he cares about me a lot and he's, he wants to help, you know, he wants to be in my life and to me that, that means everything, you know, like a lot of people come and go but he's here and he stays and then he's, he's, he's like another father to me to be honest. He's just like when I'm not at home with my real dad, like I'm at school, he's like my dad there. It, it feels good because I think your end goal is not so much about state testing in the end, you know, or numbers in the end, it's impacting a student to be like, I can do this and I can achieve this. That's why I'm in education. I, I you know, I, um, I want to make impacts on students and that's hopefully, uh, if it doesn't, I don't touch all, I touch a few and um, they're able to say that I've been a positive role model for them uh, later on down the road. So they won't remember all the games we've been a part of um, together, but, uh, definitely remember the positive impact I've made on their lives and that makes me feel good and makes me know that I'm doing something a little bit right in, in what I'm doing. It's never the same. Um, we do our thing 
and watching her and see where she started and where we've gone and where we're going to go, um, it's, it's, a, it's a cool ride to be on. And I can't wait to see where we end up.